Hey there, commanders. Once again, we have another commodities-based community goal, and I expect the remainder of these new AX weapons will be largely commodity-driven events. You're delivering the things to the place, and it's not the most engaging, but once again, the reward is compelling. An enhanced AX missile rack that will be delivered to all rescue megaships, same as the enhanced AX multi-cannon. This will be a turreted, dumbfire missile rack, the description on this community goal says that the AX missile rack will be made available at all rescue megaships shortly afterwards, whereas the AX multi-cannon community goal said it would be made available at all rescue megaships the following Thursday. The AX missile rack's single greatest weakness is that it travels about the same speed as a standard dumbfire missile, that is, exceptionally slowly slower than the plasma accelerator or the cannon. You have to get in very close to use these things effectively, but if you do, especially with synthesis, the AX missile rack can be effective against cyclopses. That it's also turreted and remains the only turreted dumbfire rack in the entire game would be an advantage if it did not require a gunner to be seated for the turret functionality to be enabled. Otherwise, it behaves exactly like its fixed variant. Since multi-crew gunnery is still not very strong in Elite Dangerous, there really aren't that many opportunities for this weapon to be used to its fullest capacity. If this new enhanced turret functions like a regular turret, that is, it will aim under the pilot's control without forcing the pilot to turn the entire ship, then it could quickly find itself in a near top tier position. Once again, I don't see a meta where this weapon eclipses the Guardian weapons, but I do see it becoming a very useful utility weapon that can be outfitted to some of the larger ships. This is another weapon that the Type 10, Anaconda, and Corvette can find ready space for. Whether it will in the current anti-Thargoid meta is still something that I'm not too sure of. I would hope that we get to see it sometime before the weekend. I suspect that since the previous community goal was completed so quickly, and this current one is set to complete sometime Friday evening, that they're just going to make both of these weapons available in one pass. We're just kind of playing the waiting game right now. Hopefully we'll see them soon. That's all I've got for today, so I'll catch you guys later.